What's going on guys, Brad Abbott here, and today we're in the studio recording some backing tracks, instrumental backing tracks for the conversational videos that I talked about us doing here on the YouTube channel going forward. And basically what we're going to be doing today is recording some acoustic guitar lines uh, that have a good bit of length to them so they can be the backing tracks to these videos. And I'm also going to be using this as a mic experiment. So I have a couple different mics I want to test out and work on the placement of them. So as I record these little acoustic guitar lines, I'm going to mess with these mic settings and see what works out best. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting all that set up. This is also the first time I'm recording on a new computer. So we're going to see how that works. We're using PreSonus Studio One Professional 3. They're up to Studio One Professional 5 now, but I don't really see a reason to upgrade because Studio One 3 has everything I need. So for right now, it's working and we're going to record some backing tracks. First up, we have the trusty Shure SM57. I hate to use this term, but it's an industry standard. So I'm going to mic up the acoustic with this first. It's been a while since I've used one of these. I had one when I was younger, and it got stolen off of me. So got another one, and I'm excited to see what kind of sounds we can make with it. It's recording, so it's really all that matters to me at this stage in the game. So we're going to start about a foot away from the guitar. And we're going to kind of point it towards the body of the guitar there. That should be a pretty good angle for sound. We'll see what happens. So the first line I'm going to be recording is from a song I've been working on that I'm pretty sure is going to be called Natalie. I'm hoping to make this about eight to ten minutes long, so we shall see what happens. Ooh. Oh, arms burning a little bit after that one. Whew. All right, so the original plan was to mic up the guitars with a couple different microphones. However, I'm really happy with what I'm hearing from the SM57 on the Paramount. So I am going to swap out guitars because I want to hear what the 324 CE sounds like over the SM57 as well, but I think I'm going to continue running the SM57 for this particular session. We're going to do a couple more instrumentals because got a lot of video ideas, so I figure we'll have some variety there, and we're going to do another take now with the Taylor 324 CE, so here we go. recorded some instrumental tracks tonight to back up some of the conversational content and I'm excited to see what comes out of the mixing sessions for these. I'm gonna go ahead and get on that tomorrow morning but till then I'm uh, gonna go ahead and turn the video off and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow morning. So these were fairly simple just some compression and reverb and they're the backing tracks for the new YouTube videos so Hopefully they work out. I think they will. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to our first little behind the scenes thing. Look forward to more of this. Uh, I'm actually going into work today for my last day before a little five day break. And I'm planning to spend a lot of that time here in the studio, hopefully shooting some videos just like this uh, for different projects I'm doing. So 
We'll see you very soon. Be sure to subscribe so you can hear these tracks in one of the next videos, and I'll see you then.